I want to take an opportunity right now to thank uh, Chuck Koopman, who's a sociology teacher at Plant High School uh, in Tampa, for the opportunity of coming out and addressing two of the sociology classes. It was quite an education uh, for me. Uh, I can assure you that. It was really interesting. And you know, buddy, the thing that I found uh, tremendously interesting about it is, once again, uh, we're seeing a change in the thinking of... Uh, of uh, a lot of our young athletes today who are now beginning to debate uh, the great deal of money that's available to them if they turn professional immediately after leaving high school, if they have the qualifications, uh, or as opposed to going on to college, Dwight Gooden, classic example of doing so well with a mess uh, right out of high school. Uh, Herschel Walker cut his college career short to go to the pro ranks, and uh, we've got a situation upcoming now uh, in the, uh, the, the Wyndham family. So you know what they're really looking at is the big money, like you just said, in professional sports, whether it be wrestling or baseball, uh, football, basketball, a great professional athlete can make more money in one year than the average college graduate might make in an entire lifetime. Well, this is the thing, and it, it does, uh, it really puts a lot of pressure, both on the student himself and the parent. Uh, we, uh, I did a little uh, in-depth conversation with Blackjack Mulligan and his youngest son, Kendall Wyndham, uh, just the other day, and uh, I thought it might be interesting to all of you who are parents and to all of you who are students uh, to try and get the conflicting uh, forms of thinking regarding the, uh, the parental generation and uh, the student generation. Let's go to uh, this very special interview. The past few years, of course, there has been a lot of talk about the United States Football League as one professional sports organization who has been uh, uh, taking some students out of college before they had uh, finished their eligibility in college and turning them into the pro ranks. Of course, that goes on in baseball directly out of high school in some cases, and in some cases in basketball as well. Of course, boxing and wrestling are other areas where people can move directly from high school. Uh, I wanted to take a moment today to talk to a gentleman who really is on the horns of a dilemma. I'm referring, of course, to Blackjack Mulligan and his son, Kendall Wyndham. Uh, Blackjack, uh, here's a young man with a most impressive high school record. He's now 18 years old and uh, six college scholarships uh, in the wings, plus uh, several professional offers uh, from wrestling promoters. Right, Gordon. And I'll tell you... Uh, Thank you for talking to me about this, because it's been really burdening me lately, because it's the second time it's happened to me now. Barry was the first. They raided my cap and took Barry from me. I wanted him to finish college, and uh, now they're after Kendall, and Kendall has been wrestling and been an athlete since, since he was actually walking at this point. So my main concern about this, Gordon, is, is uh, what happens to these guys and and uh, after the after the sports is through with them, after the game is over, you know, football, basketball, wrestling, whatever it might be. So that's my concern. And I came from the old school, like Wilder McDaniels and myself. I played for Bum Phillips, and you couldn't drop out. I mean, you had, once you were in there, the old cliche, you had to stay. You were locked in. You started your pro career directly after college. But things have changed, and the mega bucks. Hey, who used to say now with the offer that Kendall's getting, or the offer that Barry got? Who used to say I wouldn't have took it, Gordon? That's an interesting observation, and yet uh, the, the, the importance of education is so very, very critical. Kendall, let's take a, a moment now to look back though, at your amateur career in high school. Mm -hmm. I understand uh, you were in uh, the boxing, uh, uh, football, and wrestling. Um, how well did you do in boxing? Well, I won Texas State Golden Gloves two years in a row in the heavyweight class. And I've been wrestling ever since I was about three years old, and been playing football since I was in the first grade. You went on in football, I understand, to win a state championship as well. Yes, sir. All right, now then, uh, district titles in, in wrestling as well. Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, I, can, I can see the problem that your dad is faced with, but how do you feel about this personally? I, I, I'm not pressing you for a decision right now, but, but what is your thinking in this regard? I feel that a collegiate athlete, you know, he's good and he's just working just for the sport. And the sport is good because... That's really all that matters anyway is winning. But why go out and do the same thing and just get a pat on the back and break an ankle or throw out a knee and, you know, be paralyzed or not be able to walk anymore when you can do it and get paid for it? In other words, you're weighing the possibility of an injury in your, in your uh, collegiate career 
as opposed to going out now and uh, making money in, in something that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, what then, if you were to go in that direction, would your would your thoughts be then to go back to school and, and get your degree? I really don't know at this time. Mm -hmm. Remarkably candid young man, Blackjack, and uh, yeah. uh, I, I must say, uh, and I suppose with today's thrust toward professional athletics and the importance that it is, uh, I imagine it uh, makes young men a little more cynical a little earlier. Well, you know, definitely we can't say, well, this is the way I did it. You've got to do it this way. But with the money they're making now, Barry will be a millionaire before he's 30 years old. And all these things enter into the decision. And yet our line of thinking is, well, you've got to have that education. What are you going to do with your life after the people? you got to remember one thing, Gordon. The sports fans, the people out there are the ones that dictate what we do. They're the ones that make us. They say, well, this guy's making too much money. He don't deserve to be paid that. Well, it's the fans that are causing these things to happen because they come in masses to see us. They come to football stadiums, they come to wrestling, they come to basketball. Well, who's to say what's too much? I think the guys ought to get as much as they can, but I would, it's, it's going to be very interesting. I wish Kenny would get his education, but uh, the money is, um, it's, it's going to be an awesome decision and a big decision to make. Kendall, I'll tell you what, I certainly don't want to put you on the spot today. I know that you've got about another 60 days before you really have to make a critical decision, number one, as to what college you select, uh, number two, whether you select any college at all or turn pro. Uh, interesting crossroads in your life. Would you be willing to come back on as the weeks progress and uh, kind of keep us updated? Yes, sir. Thank you so very much. Kendall Wyndham at a crossroads of his life.